How are you related to this old case that is about Jeff? I moved into this building, uh, Runwala Nikante in Lokhanwala complex, and I came across this uh, these two puppies right outside our gate. So I said, "Bachpan se wohi condition na, main bahar se feeding continue karne. Main apko feeding se problem hai na, feeding to ho." And I had many senior activists support me. This my point was just like a total case of revenge. I feel. Do kutto mein apko kya taklif? Usko he is like a sadhu. मतलब ऐसे वो लोग कुछ फरार की नहीं पड़ता, कुछ नहीं करता. The other one was a slightly disturbed dog. And when I say disturbed, he was living a life of fear. You think parents would allow their children to be around such dogs? Yes. Uh, the person um, who did this, uh, he said it attacked my. Uh, daughter. Yeah, well, he must prove the attack. Mm. A human uh, go to that level. It doesn't come in the first attempt. So you have to be someone who's practiced violence in the past to have exactly. done this in one shot. And how unstable oh. are you? Mm. And what is this rage in you mm. that you took it out on the animal in one shot? Humanity, yes, but your brain is not in the right place if you're doing something so ghastly. What? How does your brain function? And are we really safe around people like these? He has threatened my dogs openly in front of the security of the building. Ye ladki is the problem. Isko main dekh lunga and kutto ko dekh lunga. And the next morning, you find your dog mysteriously dead. And I know for a fact that these threats were not false threats. He openly said he will do it. Sir Ami, welcome to Talky Tail. And uh, today we're meeting for a very great cause. Before we go to the topic, I'd firstly like to know about you. So, uh, where are you coming from? The whole story. I actually come from a mental health background. I am actually a qualified counselling psychologist huh. who took a diversion into animal behaviour in twenty 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 one. Okay. So, I am actually a graduate with. A psychology background, okay. but uh, animals were always something I loved from when I was a little kid. Okay. So I genuinely never thought of pursuing animals as a career. Okay. But I later realized that my inclination towards animals was such that I had to do something in this field. So I started off as a rescuer in 2014. Okay, where after my dog came, it was after her that I realized that there are so many animals that are in distress and need help. Okay. So. For the longest time, from 2014 till 2020, mm -hmm. I absolutely devoted myself into animal service and community service there. Mm -hmm. In 2021 is when I took up animal behavior professionally. Okay. So I got myself certified under Shirin Ma'am and other uh, mentors, mm -hmm. and I actually realized that there are a lot of pet animals, pet dogs, and pet cats that are troubled, and pet parents don't know how to handle them. Handle yeah, them. yeah. So I said, why can't I use my love for animals to actually bridge this gap? Absolutely. So I made it into a profession, and now I don't really want to call it business, but it's more like a practice mm -hmm. where I sit and I say, okay, if you have an issue, I'll resolve it, mm -hmm. and whatever I make of it, again went back into community service. So it was okay. like, you know, so I do come from a space where I understand both human behavior, mm -hmm. and now I'm into animal behavior. That's wonderful. That's really nice thing. And surely we'd like to know more about, you know, this is something very rare. I think people don't choose this quite often. Yeah. As a profession, you can say it is. It is, in fact, the kind of reactions I get from people wow. when they hear this. If there is someone, I mean, not just someone, a lot like me, who wow. actually devoted a good amount of time, yeah. invested a lot of money into studying animal behavior because animals are an in inevitable part of our lives. We can choose to ignore. We can choose to love them, but they're unavoidable. They are there at all times, and if people are struggling to bridge that gap, why not be play play that you know catalyst mm -hmm. and say, okay, you want to keep a dog? Let me help you. Mm -hmm. You want to help a uh, community animal? Let me help you how to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. If you want to be comfortable around community animals, if you're someone who's scared, let me help you through because India is a country that is. Largely populated with strays. Exactly. Her hundred meters, but there's an animal sitting. Exactly. So where will you avoid? Might as well learn to cope and deal with it. That's wonderful. So we, a, a bunch of us rescuers, mm -hmm. behaviorists, we've devoted a good amount of time in spreading this education. And I know that, of course, whatever the earlier generation has come learning, they've been conditioned around animals mm -hmm. for some reason. Mm -hmm. But the coming generation, we can definitely 
uh, you know, target these young minds and say, let's have a change in perspective That's towards animals. So we've heavily aggressively tried to work on educating people. And mm-hmm. at the same time, if I can help a family live stress-free with their dog, why not? And I think the same thing applies to people who do not have pets, who are uh, who have totally no knowledge. Uh, what would you say to such people? That why is it necessary to know a behavior of an animal on the road? I'll tell you why. Firstly, because we've been misinformed about a lot of things when it comes to animals. Wow. Whether these are myths, whether these are superstitions, whether these are people who are spreading information based on personal experiences but may not apply to all animals. Mm-hmm. Secondly, irrespective of whether you're friendly or fearful, you will come across an animal when you're out there. Mm-hmm. Some way or the other, whether you go to a temple, you'll have monkeys there. You go to a park, you will have kittens and cats there. You go to a, a larger area, you will have a pack of strays. I think any and everyone should know how to deal with a situation like that. Because in a state of fear, in a state of panic, and when you're ignorant, mm-hmm. you create a situation that is more harmful to you than being informed that it is like dealing with it in a more strategic and systematic manner. So even if you're someone who's not friendly with animals, I would still say please learn the basics of canine behavior. So God forbid if you encounter a dog, you know how to escape without harming both yourself and the dog. So I, I genuinely feel that everyone must must do this because they are an integral part of the society. Strays are there. Even the government recognizes strays. We have ABC rules. We have BMC looking after the strays. Strays are there. So they have to be looked after. That's and very well put. And yeah, yeah, that's very nice. And also, Shivani, now I'd like to know that how are you related to this uh, whole case really that is about Jay? Okay. So let me trace it a little, you know, a couple of years back. I moved into this building. Uh, Runwala Legante in Lokanwala Complex in 2020. Oh. Um, it was just the onset of the lockdown. So okay. I moved in Jan and by February there were, you know, like rumors kept lockdown on the mm-hmm. And by mid-Feb, Jan, March. In lockdown. Okay. Yeah, the lockdown was in full swing. And I came across this, uh, these two puppies right outside our gate. And I was told that these this was a litter that was born inside the building. Okay. Now, Runwal at that time was extremely irresponsible because Right next to Runwal is a BMC parking lot. Yeah. And they would never seal the entrance to the parking lot. So all the strays would enter the Runwal parking area and, you know, deliver and have their own fights and whatever. Yeah. And once I moved and I used to keep telling them, if you don't want to compound, please lock this gate. Because I used to walk my dogs and I would see BMC dogs coming out and I'm like, where are you oh. So I got to know that the mother had delivered this letter in the parking lot. And I said, this before these these uh, puppies come under the cars because drivers are reckless that way and might as well get them used to living outside palace because I knew once they grow up building me koi na koi to object karega ki we can't have six month old eight month old puppies running after children and senior citizens in the building so I said bachpan se we'll condition them and we'll make them exposed to the outside world wahi bahar ki adat karo this was my contribution to Runwal and the residents who have a stray free compound Agar unko itni taklif thi, which never went appreciated. I believe they should have thanked me. You have to thank 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 me. Technically, it was their territory. So, out of this litter, three puppies got adopted and two were left behind. Now, because these two were left behind, I was under the impression that they helped me. Kara, me and my sister started feeding them. So, we would feed them and then we would, you know, we got them vaccinated, we got them neutered. But while this was happening, I saw that there were other people also. So one day we went with food. We saw one very lovely neighbor come and say, Hum bhi dood leke hai. Are, are, very nice. Then I ran into one more. We created a group of seven to nine, seven to nine families, I think. And we were like, we collectively look after them. That's and you will not believe it. These seven to nine people, all of them had different names. So one lady said, Oh, I named them Tex and Rex. One said, yeah, I call them Jaiveen. I said, but my sister and I call them Jat and Jing. And they were like, but whatever is our children. So all of them said, we'll pull in our resources, we'll take the turns, and we'll go to someone who doesn't go, you go. Everyone contributed financially. There were residents who made a kennel for them, custom a customized kennel. There was a rain, some resident is running out and saying, I'm putting a tarp on the kennel. One is running down saying, oh, he's not feeling well, I'm going to go to the doctor. 
it was a collective responsibility going on but predominantly because i was a seasoned rescuer they <coughs> all trusted me with my advice so this is a shivani tu kar hum paisa de rahe hain tu khila de agar hamari zarurat hai fbi needed i should keep telling them aap log rao main kar rahi hu main dekh rahi hu i was supported but you can sort of in a way say he she was a primary caretaker of jain me uh, uh giving them you know jo bhi uh, oh. putting them in touch with the ngo that neuters wow. putting them in touch with the ngo that vaccinates keeping their oh. most of their records are in my name okay so this was my relation with jay so in 2021 we had a massive showdown with residents who were not okay with so runwal ke residents pe constant wo rehta tha ki inko khana kyu khila rahe why are the two dogs at our gate and the kitna anesthetic lag raha hai why are they being fed here and ko bolo aage jaye and runwal as a building is extremely not pet friendly आपने किसी लेडी को जाके योर पुटिंग फीट ऑन द फूड लिटरली थ्रेटनिंग आप फीड मत करो वो रुनवाल का एरिया था भी नहीं So, Runwal always had this कुत्ते हमारे पेरेफेरी में ना बाहर ये सौ मीटर लेफ्ट सौ मीटर राइट हो लाइक दैट सो दीज पीपल एंड द रिमार्क्स दे यूज टू मेक दे शू टेक डिग्स इतना ह्यूमिलेटिंग कॉमेंट्स एंड वेरी इनसेंसिटिव कॉमेंट्स अबाउट डॉग्स फीडर फीडर्स फीडर दीज टू डॉग्स एंड टू गो अबाउट से अनस्थेटिक लग रहा है वॉट अबाउट टू डॉग्स सिटिंग ऑट योर गेट इज अनस्थेटिक आपका कंपाउंड तो इज वेरी अस्थेटिक एंड वेरी पॉशन प्लश But 2021 में we had one massive showdown with all of the animal hating residents had come down against the seven or nine families that were protecting Jai and Meeru. And वो लोग बोलने लगे we'll gather signatures and we'll do this. It was a showdown that went viral on Facebook. Everyone had gathered. After that, there was no respite to any of us. Constant ताने मिल रहे हैं. The dogs are being harcaud. Watchmen were given uh, instructions कि तुम इनको डंडी से और उधर हकालो ये करो. Our bulls used to go missing. Unke mattress went missing. The kennel was pushed away. Watchman ko bolte kennel piche kar do. BMC ko bula diya. BMC came. They understood the situation and they said, "Sorry, ma'am, we have come to you. Aap to bahut acha kam kare. Please carry on." BMC ka green signal mil gaya humko that you can feed here. This is a proper stray uh, footpath. Eh? Runwal cannot uh, object to that. It's not their place. Irrespective, they tried everything in their might. जो पॉसिबल था टू हरास इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दे गॉट दे प्रेशर हो गया दे कैप कॉलिंग मी दैट यूर अंसेंस यूर अ प्रॉब्लमैटिक टेनेंट मेंबर्स आर अपसेट सो इनिशियली वी सेट वाई आर दे अपसेट रीजन बताओ वील एड्रेस दो वॉट आर द कंप्लेन्स अगेंस्ट मी वी हैड फॉलो अप मेल्स आई हैव फॉलो अप ई मेल्स Not a single reply because on record you can't say na feeding se problem hai. They'll be in trouble. So you are saying there are no replies coming, ma'am. We can't say, but you are just nuisance. You are nuisance. When it comes nuisance, then tell me. I'm ready to speak to the complainants also. Why? What is it? We had a meeting also with the committee. <coughs> the committee also said, no, no. You see, we are okay, but you know, members are resisting. Eventually, it came to a point where because they couldn't do it on paper. They started threatening my landlord into saying, "Ap ye tenant ka lease renew nahi karenge." So now oh it was not direct eviction; it was indirect. Peeche oh. se pressure kare. So my landlord kept saying, "Sir, ab bahut achhi family and I really respect you, but please understand my situation. Ye log mujhe nahi renew karne de raha apni lease." Oh so when twenty twenty two, when I was evicted for feeding these dogs, I said, "Now that I'm not a resident, ab mujhe rok ke dikhao." मैं बाहर से फीडिंग कंटिन्यू कर रही हूँ आपको फीडिंग से प्रॉब्लम है ना फीडिंग तो होगी एंड आई हैड मेनी सीनियर एक्टिविस्ट सपोर्ट मी एंड प्रोटेक्ट एंड सेव कांडीज डॉग्स सो दिस इज माय हिस्ट्री विद रुनवाल दिस इज माय हिस्ट्री विद जय एंड मीरू एंड दिस इज हाउ इट ऑल स्टार्टेड एंड एस्केलेटेड बट इवेंचुअली आई थॉट ओके नाउ द सिचुएशन अंडर कंट्रोल आपका प्रॉब्लमैटिक रेजिडेंट तो चला गया ना मैं बाहर से जो भी करूँ यू आर नो से एंड दीज आर योर टेरिटरी डॉग्स यू कैंट इवन बाई लॉ relocate them so you know this is what i had to go through in those years that i've you know that's horrible it is for in this i would say because it is uh, this looks like i mean this is my point with this looks like a total case of 
revenge i feel shivani definitely like that's that's cruel like it's a like you hate humans and you're taking out on voiceless creatures yes yes so imagine your dogs are sleeping unka raat raat gadda khul gaya then one day come the bulls are missing i said okay this is like next level insensitive these are two dogs just two you can tomorrow acha ek bar ko agar aap bolte shivani panch che kutte bahut zyada hai i i would have understood i would have transferred them shifted them do kutto mein aapko kya takleef these are hygienic dogs vaccinated as per uh, bmc rules these are neutered dogs do you think that the dogs created any issue with anybody or bit anybody so okay the dogs one of the dog is a saint the one who's alive today he's an absolute saint usko he is like a sadhu matlab aise bolo kuch farak nahi padta kuch nahi kar the other one was a slightly disturbed dog and when i said disturbed he was living a life of fear because he had a habit of going to people hmm. now these people because of whatever dandi dikhana and hard thing he started developing fear of any movement of people so now for him it was more of like an offense than like a defense because he was just like isse pehle koi koi mere paas aa bhi isne charge karke hata do isse pehle koi mujhe hurt kare i'll do this uh. he was not like that i've raised him from when he was 30 days old he was growing up to be a very stable dog but eventually your reactions to this dog's behavior became such that now he his guards were up at all times mm. so behavior and if i have to explain this while he did go to people he went with a place of fear i know of fear it was not that he had any traces of aggression i can say he did uh at times charge and growl and snarl at people but there were so many residents and i can bring them on camera who say we used to meet jain we do every day we used to tell, touch them and pet them my daughter plays with them my child plays with them we need beti school se aati to jain mere ke paas jaake if they were threats you think parents should allow their children to be around such dogs yes so like uh, according to rumors or you can say statements is that uh, the person um who did this uh, he said it attacked my uh, daughter yeah well he must prove the attack mm-hmm. because if you are claiming so attacks can be proven with medical records mm-hmm. if you if your daughter was bitten did you show her to a doctor Oh. If your daughter was bitten, was the bite on camera? Oh. If your daughter was bitten, do you have marks of the bite? Oh. If the dog was bitten, even then you don't have the right to take the life. Of course, even of if course. your daughter was bitten, and when I say if, you're supposed to report the dog to authorities, and there are ways, formal ways, into dealing with it. Tomorrow, if someone misbehaves with me, I will not go around murdering people. I will report it to the authorities. Like murdering would be an extreme, extreme action, Shivani. How could a human uh, go to that level? Is what I would like to ask. What would, since you know so much about behaviors of animals, and I'm sure you must be knowing that something must have urged. And I feel that you can't do this alone. What do you say about this case? I don't want to, you know, bring out. all things that may disturb you but people need to know there's so many questions that people have you know and through you directly from the horse's mouth it's necessary that people know the details what actually absolutely so i'll tell you this is what i've learned about violence and in in general after working for a- with animals for years the first point i want to say is that the confidence with which this had happened uh it doesn't come in the first attempt so you have to be someone who's practiced violence in the past to have exact than this in one shot yes number 2 while it might come from a place of fear let's just say you've hit an animal out of fear mm-hmm. so tomorrow if you're coming at me there's a likelihood I'll hit your hand and say Rachel you know back mm-hmm. off mm-hmm. it comes from a place of fear but it won't justify if i kill you and say exactly you know, she was hitting me so i'm going to do this won't i give you an option when yeah. i say Rachel, stop it! Mm-hmm. Won't I report you before mm-hmm. I take the drastic step of saying I'm going to finish her? She's not stopping. Up, see that you graduate to a point. How unstable oh. are you? Mm-hmm. And what is this rage in you mm-hmm. that you took it out on the animal in one shot? Yes, because in the past I do not have any record from this person that we are in question of mm-hmm. to have reported any disliking or anything against this dog. 
Okay. Had I known as a feeder, I would have taken the steps needed. Yes. So you inform, you tell the watchman कि हाँ मुझे आपत्ति है इन कुत्तों से या मेरी बेटी को प्रॉब्लम है. Why were you quiet all this while? And now you very confidently done the act yeah. and you done what was you know yeah. uh, to have happened. You are a confident beater, and you are someone who's lost his uh, what do you say? a uh, rational thinking or, or what actually humanity humanity yes but your brain is not in the right place if you're doing something so ghastly what is what what sort of burst and rage hits your head that you kill a... and i am now trying to wonder that as a society are we safe around such people totally because you have children playing in the same compound you have neighbors he can probably have altercations within the future yeah ye to maar dega बढ़केगा गुस्सा होगा भाई आप इससे बैठ नहीं सकते हो द चाइल्ड इफ ही यू नेवर नो ही माइट जस्ट एंड अप द चाइल्ड और वेटिंग फॉर समथिंग कोर्ट्स even serial killers for yes. that matter it yes. starts off young with animals yes and then it graduates to taking life as now it? you're like getting away with it and now you're getting the hang of it so now my question is what what how does your brain function and are we really safe around people like these the so shivani um, i mean if i hit a dog for example it will run away mm-hmm. how do we manage to because killing is something you trap a person where they are not able to save themselves that's how you ended up end up being dead i think how do you think they he must have had support because i'm sure if somebody must have hit a dog the first thing a dog does is squeal yes. at the top of its voice and run for its life yes we hum sunte kabhi kutto kutto mein jhagda hota hai aap itni tez awaaz sunte even in whatever floor you are correct 15th floor 18th floor so yeah. so i find this very suspicious like how it must have see happened. i'll also tell you something i also the matter is subjudice the matter is under investigation okay now it i completely trust the police mm-hmm. to come with facts to me as to why what happened why it happened but all i can say is when i was feeding these dogs if a man is aggressing and pe- uh, swinging his slippers at my dogs mm-hmm. when they intend to hurt them or mm-hmm. he's threatened me he has threatened my dogs openly in front of the security of the building mm-hmm. so you have witnesses of this action there was another resident walking his dog to whom he said ye ladki is a problem isko main dekh lunga and kutto ko dekh lunga when there are open threats mm-hmm. when you have footage of your dogs being chased mm-hmm. with a baton with a thing and the next morning you find your dog mysteriously dead dead now i'm telling you mysteriously dead but if i have to add my two and two what am i to make of this when there are open verbal threats ki aaj ye gaya ye nahi bachega so whether the squealing happened or not whether it, i don't know okay but i know for a fact that there were witnesses to what happened and i know for a fact that these threats were not false threats he openly said he will do it So now, if I find my dog dead, dead, what am I to assume? You can pass it off as an accident. Show me the car that hit my dog. You can pass it off as poisoning. Show me my dog frothing and vomiting and doing something. Prove it that what he said is not true. So now, when the matter is adjudicated, I will allow the judiciary to take a call on this and the police to give me the factual. explanation of the entire incident yeah. but if you ask me as the witness who went through those threats am i to and to add into saying that yes he took my dog's life so that is my stand on that i was threatened i was numb if you notice the footage that has been circulating i am standing frozen i didn't know how to protect my dogs because he was raging and his eyes looked like they were literally full of blood because as it shot mare ja raha phir chappal utha raha phir shot mar raha he chased them till the two gates that you know pura gate mein aap ja rahe ho and aap kutto ko bolo ki aaj ye bachne hi nahi wale i want to corner them to every inch of the part jahan jahan main ja sakta and i'm just looking at him and i'm like should i intervene should i know what is happening my brain was frozen 
now if i sit to think i'm like shivani what were you doing but at that time i was literally numb i was just looking at him and his movement and i could see my dogs just running helter skelter pacing and stressing so what am i to make of this i mean this it it it, it i get a lot of questions in my head and i'm really waiting for the authorities to give me those answers i'm genuinely trusting them with the investigation keep please find this out for me because my two and two is adding to a very disturbing picture so shivani uh, what was the first action you took when you uh, came to know about it at that situation so of course i firstly couldn't believe it and fortunately what had happened was ye jo incident threatening ka aur chappal phek raha hua tha only i knew so the next morning when my neighbor one of js caretaker unke husband ne jab dekha during his morning walk he informed her she called me up and i sort of got a panic attack because i was just like wait she said hamare jay ka accident ho gaya and i was just like no 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 this is not an accident oh my god i should have done something about it because i thought those threats were false threats unfortunately they weren't so when i reached the the spot uh his body was already moved by her because wo sadak ke paas pada tha in a pool of blood so she said before a car would run over because they didn't know how to protect him they said humne we had moved him to the side and covered his body because it was in a very bad shape uska pura eyes had gone inside the skull skull had swollen up muh se khoon kaan se khoon naak se khoon he was just bleeding it was not stopping so for me initially i was just like wait i'm going to call the police first i called the police the officer came and very nicely he said okay main panchnama karta hu this is not how it should have happened उन्होंने पंचनामा किया ही टुक एन एंटायर डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द स्पॉट ऑफ द क्राइम एंड देन आई सेड ओके वी कैन कीप हिस बॉडी बिकॉज टू अस द नेबर हैड सीन इट अराउंड फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव फाइव फिफ्टी इन द मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग बट वी वर अज्यूमिंग बिकॉज हिज बॉडी वॉज हार्ड दैट दिस दैट कुड हैव हैपन वे अर्लियर लाइक इन द नाइट इन द नाइट सो आई हैड फेड हिम एट अबाउट वन फाइव वन टेन इन द मॉर्निंग तो हमको लग रहा है अगर एक बजे तक है तो उसके बाद ही कुछ हुआ है दैट आपको पांच बजे बॉडी दिखी है तो वी सेड कि वी शुड एवरीवन वाज ऑफ द इंप्रेशन कि क्रिमेट करवाते क्रिमेट करवाते बट आई सेड नो वी नीड टू डू अ पीएम पोस्टमार्टम कराना पड़ेगा इनिशियली द लेडीज बोले नहीं नहीं एक्सीडेंट है क्यों उसको डिसरिस्पेक्ट करे बॉडी को जाने दो क्या काटा पीटी करना देन आई टोल्ड एम दिन आई थिंक दिस रो माई गॉड वी डेंट नो दिस हैपन विद यू देन वी डेफिनेटली नीड अ पोस्टमार्टम सो वी टुक हिम टू पर एल पर एल एस पी सी में उन्होंने कहा कि पोस्टमार्टम आज तो नहीं हो पाएगा वी नेफ्ट पुट एम इन द फ्रीजर ही वॉज फ्रोजन सो वन फुल नाइट ही वॉज इन द फ्रीजर द नेक्स्ट आफ्टरनून इज वैन वी कुड मैनेज द पोस्टमार्टम एंड उसके नेक्स्ट आफ्टरनून इज वैन वी गॉट इम क्रिमेटेड सो पुअर थिंग इज बॉडी वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट गेटिंग द प्रिवलेज टू बी क्रिमेटेड इमीडिएटली ये फ्रीजर से टेबल पे शफलिंग हो रही थी लिटरली ऐसा लग रहा था कि क्या खिलवाड़ हो रहा है यू नो बॉडी के साथ बट वी वर लाइक टू गेट जस्टिस so but the initial reaction was i immediately went to the police station and while my friends the fellow caretakers of jay were still with his body i was at the police station finding my fir and i was in the middle shivering and i was giving whatever i could recollect and they were calling me saying hum ambulance aa gayi hai bhej de kya then i said nahi main aa rahi hu i left the fir midway ran to uh, his body again i said i will go with him to spc so i was in the ambulance when i took him i have a video of him you know lying on that newspaper and he was bleeding even in the ambulance itna khoon uski body ne nikala only when the ambulance was jerking uska khoon bahe ja raha tha and then i had to come back and continue my fir and get the copy out so for me it was like you know too many things happening my brain was shut i was like kya karu iske sath raha hu i was also crying then beech mein rona ruk ja raha hai samajh nahi aa raha i'm calling making calls suddenly activists had come to know तो एक्टिविस ने उसी टाइम फोन करना शुरू कर दिया अर्ली मॉर्निंग एट सेवन की शिवानी जी हम यहीं पे आप इधर वापस आओ और वील गाइड यू सो दैट फुल यू नो मूवमेंट इट वाज वेरी केयोटिक फॉर मी एंड आई वाज एक सर मोमेंट ओके मैं उसको एस पी ले जा रही हूँ एस पी में माय फ्रेंड्स फॉर्चुनेटली दे केम टू सपोर्ट मी सो आई एड समन टू डू द रनिंग अराउंड आई दॉज आई वॉज नम मुझे उसका बॉडी देख के आई वॉज माई हार्ट वॉज सिंकिंग तो मैं ऐसे बोल रही थी कि मैं यू नो देन आई सर मैं वापस आ रही हूँ देन वी वेंट टू द पुलिस स्टेशन बाय देन the uh, so called accused he was called out because footage they had seen then they kept calling me when i was in parel at about 10 in the morning ke come back we've you know we've managed to get this man to the station he submitted the stick 
he didn't say a word he was not saying anything but he was right in front of me and i was like okay i'm coming back from parel to pura commotion was so uh, i mean i had a mix of emotions i was feeling sad i was i was enraged i was like stressed nervous whatever you want to say but this was my initial reaction could you share a part of post mortem not really so we we are still yet to get it from the authorities okay it is under investigation so as per the police it's in their record mm-hmm. but uh, yeah we're just hoping that you know we get to know the result the cause of death the time yeah. we want to know okay and uh, okay so shivani um what would you like to say about this whole situation like it has escalated there are people sharing it all over uh, do you think it's going to be just one event that social media brings it up and then it dies out um so i don't want it to be then there's a difference between do you think it will be and do you want i genuinely don't want it to be i want jay's death to be the last death that was ever recorded in this manner i'm really being over optimistic and you can probably say this is toxic positivity but i'm still hopeful ki this death should actually bring about a change that should have happened years ago mm-hmm. number 1 number 2 while i'm genuinely very very happy and very overwhelmed by the support you know people have poured at me whether it's asking about how i am doing how jay's brothers do and extending whatever support they could mm-hmm. for jay i have people from all spheres of life have come forward with their resources mm-hmm. whether it's giving me um you know emotional support whether it's to help with legalities mm-hmm. whether it's advice whether it's whatever mm-hmm. i do feel that if we do not aggressively pursue this mm-hmm. as something that is so heinous and ghastly that it shouldn't be repeated it will fizzle out mm-hmm. so i want people to understand the intensity of what has happened and i want people to understand that even if there's a situation of hatred towards a dog mm-hmm. it should have been dealt in a different manner people mm-hmm. need to recognize that taking a life of the dog that to like this is not okay under any circumstances so i want people to now hold on to it and literally say ki this is it ye last tha iske baad we don't want any more jays in any part of the country and i want it to be that stronger movement so i want i mean it's unfortunate but i now that we've lost him i want his sacrifice to be the face of the movement saying if we lost one jay we could save hundreds out there so i genuinely don't want this to die down i don't want it to fizzle out like any other case of course it's a very common thing it's not a rare case har dusri gali mein ek jay pit raha hai and har dusri gali mein ek jay mar raha hai but my question is for how long can you be quiet about kitne jay marenge jab tak insaan jagega ki ha yaar jo ho raha hai galat ho so i really want this to be one of those cases that says okay while there are other dogs also dying such tragic deaths it was jay who sacrifice brought about a change that is doing a longer good yes. for our coming society so i genuinely want that impact from him yes and what would you say that the person did really get away with 50 rupees it's very very unfortunate and it's very shameful india is such an advancing nation we've reached the moon we've reached we've gone to the mars we've gone to we are out there in every and any field you say but why is it that we are still so backward when it comes to protecting animals why are our laws so redundant why can't someone just give us that kind of time and effort and say listen we can't be living in 1960 we cannot have 50 rupees i will probably eat a vada pav and just spend 50 rupees and just get away with it please don't tell me that a living creature is worth the 50 rupees. rupees i think aajkal 50 ka note bhi nahi hai logo ke wallet mein you start off with 100s and 500s i think the fine should be such huge that even there's so much hatred in some these person you may think 10000 times to do this act but you imagine we've come such a long way but ek 50 rupees abhi tak 50 pe atka hai i knew and on that time 50 was big hmm. it was a deterrent but today the value of 50 and the value of life the value to get away with a murder so confidently is just 50 is that this example you want the future generation is that a message we're leaving for our kids and saying you know what theek hai as much as we are talking about valuing human life flora and fauna are a part of you your environment is equally important 
your strays your animals your community animals are a part of the society you're living in and like you know so much about uh, behavior you're studying so much about that i'm sure you'd be able to share such things that why it is so important that the young generation learn compassion and empathy so i'll tell you something this is what my mentor told me and i'm going to quote her when we are looking at younger generation mm. in that classroom or in that playground you have a future pet parent you have a future breeder you have a future pet shop owner you have a future uh, volunteer a rescuer and you also have a future animal abuser and if we can't sorry condition and tackle these minds young when they are in that foundation stages we can't bring about a change till the time the thought is not drilled into the head it's very difficult because laws will take years and years but i know for a fact that my education my efforts to educate people are a lot doable mm-hmm. i can keep challenging the law on the back side but today like you are speaking to me and you are helping me vocalize i know it's going to reach a million of viewers who are going to say yeah what she is say, is saying is making sense but if we have to really bring about a change and again like i said it'll take me decades but if i can tackle those young minds who are going to be a future pet parent or a future uh, rescuer he needs to know this young and they really need to understand the intensity of harming another life especially okay. the life of someone who can't defend itself and i i genuinely feel it's a very sta- sad state of the society where if an anim- if a human is dying you'll have 10 people gather and offer it water and say how oh, am ambulance bulate if an animal is dying people will actually walk past it and i think out of the 10 only one will stop by to give some water and just move away i've seen that kind of apathy towards animals my question to you is life is life value it like the way it should be why discriminate why should a human's life be so valuable ki janwar sad ke mare and trust me when i say this rachel after jay's death now i know why people say kutte ki maut marega it really struck me now jab aap kisi ko bolte na ye kutte ki maut marega i have understood this 50 rupees is as easy for you to get away by abusing an animal left right center and live and sleep at peace i know the accused somewhere is thriving when we are sitting here and grieving our boy and it's very unfortunate that's so shivani there i understand this concern but there's so many people out there we like busy in our phones we are well entertained and we are indifferent you can say i'm not a lover i'm not a feeder and it does not affect me so why should i even be concerned about this case i think this is about i would say people who have high passion for animals how how does it affect people who just don't uh, bother i think they're fine they're not doing anything right so i mean if i have to say when you talk about society at large you know it's a network everything is directly indirectly interlinked you can say you can dissociate and detach yourself but you know for a fact kahin na kahin there is a linkage where you can be indifferent but why, how are you so dissociated why are you not connected to nature where is your emotional intelligence emotional vocation to hold that where is it going are you that mechanical are you that um, you know indifference i can say okay fine you're not a supporter you're not a lover theek hai but as a human any malpractice you should speak about loving nature respecting nature protecting it is your responsibility your government says it's the fundamental right of every citizen to look after the flora and fauna of the country so if your government is also saying that you as citizen are responsible for what's around you whether it's nature plants resources or animals so can't be so blind to it aap mat karo theek hai aapko nahi pasand janwar i'm not forcing you i'm totally respectful of the fact that you can be absolutely neutral but don't discourage people who are doing this exactly डोंट बी सो इन डिफरेंट कि कल को अगर आपको दिख रहा है समवन पोल्यूटिंग अ वॉटर बॉडी जस्ट से डोंट डू इट इट ना तो यू कैन वोकलाइज राइट बिकॉज इवेंचुअली वो वॉटर बॉडी इज वे योर वॉटर कम यू आर इन डायरेक्टली अ कंज्यूम वेन यू हैव स्ट्रे एनिमल्स ट्रस्ट मी वेन आई से दिस वेन आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट स्ट्रेज आई डू अ लॉट ऑफ टॉक्स अबाउट स्ट्रेज इट वॉज सो मच बिकॉज ऑफ स्ट्रेज दैट यू डिड नॉट हैव मिसक्रियंट्स इन द एरिया योर स्ट्रेज आर प्रोटेक्टिंग योर एरियाज people used to say jay viru ke rehte rehte hamare watchmen so jaate the but jay did not allow any random nonsense happening in the compound 
when you have a, a bunch of cats living in your compound you don't have rodent problems can't you appreciate the fact that your community animals are playing a role in your ecosystem yeah this is this is nature it basically it is an ecosystem and i think when you interfere in a different way you're actually breaking the cycle you're breaking the cycle and your indifference is impacting us equally mm-hmm. not today if i say you're saying mere ko farak nahi padta hai kutta mar gaya aap theek hai kutta mar gaya you're living next to that person isne mara are you not under threat are you not going to say i feel unsafe about whatever happened i okay. condemn this act hmm. why are you so so you know are you waiting ki bhagwan na kare something on to what to happen to you before you realize who oh, should i should have spoken about it? and somebody say the same thing about you that what do i bother is somebody else yeah exactly are you waiting for it to happen now i'll tell you something i used to speak about all the other strays that were abused mujhe apne wildest imagination मैं उम्मीद नहीं थी कि ये मेरे बच्चे के साथ भी होगा आई सो वॉच दीज वीडियोज एंड सोशल मीडिया से दैट पुअर चाइल्ड लेट्स डू समथिंग दिस डॉग लेट्स हेल्प द रेस्क्यू और लेट्स हेल्प द फीडर लेट्स हेल्प द कम्युनिटी के भी क्या इशू है आई डेंट नॉट गोन कम बैक टू मी सम डे एंड नाउ आई अंडरस्टैंड द ग्रेविटी ऑफ इट कि क्या वॉट डज अ रेस्क्यू और अ फीडर हुज रेज दम लाइक देर ओन चिल्ड्रेन ट्रस्ट मी जैन वीरो वॉट टू मी वॉट कैन डी माई ओन डॉग इज टू मी वॉट एवर शी एट इज वॉट दे एट विच एवर डॉक्टर शी वेंट टू दे वेंट देर इज नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन The only problem was मन को घर नहीं ला सकती थी वरना वो पूरे मेरे बच्चे I felt that sentiment for them. But your indifference is pinching me. अगर आप एक community में रह रहे हो the least you can say is ठीक है dog से फर्क नहीं पड़ता but someone who's been violent and has assaulted shouldn't be okay. If you can evict a feeder from your compound, you can also evict an abuser. Exactly. Evict exactly. उसका नहीं हुआ जो abuse कर कर रहा है लेकिन जो पुण्य का काम कर रहा है was doing a noble work was kicked out with humiliation and absolute disrespect and this reflects so much on you as people and as a society where are we heading totally where are we heading because see i see shivani that uh, the more we disconnect with nature there's so many cases of depression yes yeah and people with pets and people pet lovers nature lovers uh you know a 50% of your stress is pulled away because of yes. their unconditional love or whatever you they give back you understand the impact animals and nature has on you and your well being mm-hmm. the more you're grounded the more you're closer to planet earth and them they animals actually ground you and they actually bring you to your senses the more you're away from animals and the more you're into your machines and your materialistic world you're literally detached from whatever you can feel in fact forget animals people are losing their touch with their own family if you exactly. see a teenager glued to his phone shutting their parents out ki bhai mere room mein mat aao what are you raising these are people who are full of vanity they are full animals really grounding nature really stabilizes you and says you know what whatever stresses and depression and whatever you're feeling come back feel this feel the sensation and that's when it you realize okay it's not that bad you know it brings me back to my senses we as behaviorists promote that if we see if we sense that there are mental health issues in a family we tell them go go for treks with your dogs trekking really brings you when you're in touch with the grass you know when you're in water bodies when you're swimming with your dog without your phone for that one hour the impact it has on your well-being is phenomenal and we've seen those changes families actually got glued to ट्रैकिंग के काम में मजा आ गया दो घंटे तैर के आए हैं कुत्ते के साथ हाइक किया ये किया डोंट डिटैच योर सेल्फ यू डोंट बिकम सो मैकेनिकल वी आर नॉट रोबोट्स सो दैट्स दैट्स अ बिग थिंग चलिए इट्स लाइक सेविंग लाइफ क्या व्हाट यू आर सेइंग इट्स लाइक सो थैंक यू शिवानी इट वाज रियली यू आई वुड से वंडरफुल आई ओपनिंग and we need these conversations to keep happening to remind people that hello we are humans <laughs> and uh, shivani uh, there's one thing that i want you to tell our viewers uh, something that you would say that you know to remember so i can only request to all the viewers both animal lovers those who are neutral to animals and of course those who are not okay with animals if you can't support and if you can't help and if you can't actively participate don't discourage don't discourage a community feeder don't stop this from happening don't harm animals please try and adjust and live in a way ki coexist kar lo 
कि ठीक है मुझे जानवर नहीं पसंद बट आई हैव टू एक्सेप्ट दम एज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई इको सिस्टम इफ यू आर सम वन हुज नॉट कम्फर्टेबल डायरेक्टली बींग इन टच प्लीज सपोर्ट फीडर्स डोनेट करो लैंड योर कार से कैल ट्रांसपोर्ट दी एनिमल हेयर एंड देर आई कैन टच इट बट मेरी गाड़ी में रख लो हेल्प फीडर्स रेज फंड आप इफ यू आर गुड विद डिजाइन एंड क्रिएटिव मेक पोस्टर्स एंड मेक इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज फॉर देम बट प्लीज हेल्प दिस कॉज वी रियली नीड दैट काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट फ्रॉम पीपल एंड अगर सपोर्ट नहीं है तो डोंट डिस्करेज एस वी आर अ हैंडफुल ऑफ अस यू नो इट्स अनफॉर्चुनेट कि एक फीडर के ऊपर दस पंद्रह जानवरों की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है आई बिलीव शुड आई बिन फाइव पीपल लुकिंग आफ्टर टू टू थ्री थ्री कि चलो आ ये तीन मैं सब मान लूंगी ये तीन वो एक बेचारी फीडर बेचारा फीडर सौ सौ बिल्लिया दो सौ बिल्लियों को खाना खिला रहा है एंड उस पर से ही हैज टू प्रिपेयर दर फूड लुक आफ्टर दम एंड गाली सुनना so and why protect them also from the i think that shivani the ideal would be even in a society jahan itne log re ek family bhi ek responsibility leti hai just why aapne apne bachcho ko ye sikhaya ki yaar subah sham thoda sa dal yeah. and, and I, the amount of love that you get back it's so fortunate that a lot of children who very naturally take on uh-huh. our animals have been told my parents machuna kaat lega Now one boy, little boy, four-year-old boy came and he just bent and put his mouth, his hand in the dog's mouth. So I said, "Arey, beta, don't do this." He said, "But he's so cute." But my mama told me to stay away from dogs; they are bad. So I said, "Why would you do that?" You can tell your child, "Don't put your hand in the dog's, dog's mouth. mouth." Be okay around that. Right. Educate them, educate them, them. Educate, them. educate them, but don't misinform. Dogs are not bad. How you trigger treat them, them and how you treat the dog is good or bad. Apka hmm. bache ko agar ab bolo ki stay. Stand still. Don't hit the dog. Don't throw things at it. Your dog is not psychotic mm-hmm. in the head. He can't get caught. Le, but yeah, yeah. That my mama told me they're bad. So he will grow up with that thought. Thought. I'm a man who says mm-hmm. dogs are bad. I never know he might just end up abusing a dog because at the age of four he was told that dogs are bad. So mm-hmm. that is something I'm very scared about as a society. And I mm-hmm. genuinely urge people to please think of them as beings, mm-hmm. if not equals. If you have a human superior, keep that for me. I don't think humans are superior, but okay. If you have your superior or superiority, you have to keep it. But don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that you have to keep. Don't go so much that you lose that humanity and that thin line that for coming out and being so vocal i was a little hesitant because i didn't want you to go through the whole thing again but it's very important that people get to know more about it no in fact i must thank you firstly for taking this cause up for helping us reach millions and millions i mean my voice is not enough if we don't have people like you supporting and thirdly i don't want you to say sorry or feel bad or hesitant because if if it helps any other animal out there or if it really encourages any other feeder like me mm-hmm. i will relive this a million times i'm ready to tell a story loud and far and wide if it helps anyone so i'm ready to relive all of those moments i'm ready to re-narrate it i would never get tired of this but i wanted to reach every corner and every person out there but i must thank you thank you so much for taking this up and it really means a lot to us we really need this amplify at least little whatever any it's, person it's a do huge thing is anything for us that is being done is a great help so it's not little at all it's yeah. really really a big contribution to our story but uh, i appreciate you being so brave in this whole journey and more part to your story thank you so yeah. much